Hey guys, it's Parker here, back with an extra episode of Persona 2. Oh, um, yeah. So we're gonna continue the theater mode that we have been playing on. We played School of the Heart Part 1 the other day, and now we're gonna play School of the Heart Part 2. Huh? Where is this? I think this is St. Hermelin's courtyard. Yay, we're back from the nether realm! Maya san, you should contact Baofu right away. Maya pulls out her cell phone and calls Baofu. And done. Hooray! Baofu says he'll do it. Let's wait for him to call back. But man, sure had a rough in the nether realm, Ginkgo. I know, they were so rude. I should have been more violent with them. Huh? Daffodils again? Man, this is ridiculous. Someone's coming. A man in his late 40s approaches. Who the hell are you? You're not part of the school, are you? My name is Minato. Minato from Persona 3. I'm kidding. I'm a teacher at the school. What are you people doing here? Uh, we're. My explain the interview to Minato. You're with the press? <laughs> Ridiculous. If you have time to stick your nose in other people's business, why don't you work on improving yourself instead? You in the blue! Why the hell is your hair blue, too? Take the effort you're spending on your looks and put it into your studies. Y y yes, sir. It's a sorry, sir. God, why did I apologize? What's up with this old guy? Young people to decide that must be dealt with a firm hand. Minato walks away. Wow. I don't know what just happened, but I think we just got a stern talking to. Hey. There are some daffodils here. They usually bloom in the spring. How are to find them in this season? Does it seem like they're put there intentionally? I wonder if there was an accident here or something. Okay, okay. No horror stories about schools. I've already got goosebumps. You hear students coming closer. I hate cleaning the courtyard. It's such a pain. School's already out for today, stupid Minato. I wonder if there'll be more flowers there again. It's so spooky. Spooky. Looks like we're about to have some company. Why don't we ask them some questions while we're waiting for Baofu to get back at it? Back, back, get back to us. Okay, let's talk to these guys. Minato? Everybody hates that guy. He thinks that schools of the 21st century should be using some Spartan style educational system. Okay. Well, super chat. I, I mean, Miss Torikiri used to be a student at Minato's. She seems pretty annoyed that he's always looking out for her. I keep on I keep on thinking her name is Musubi instead of Busubu. The daffodils in the courtyard are offering to spring break hours. What Alice? Alice? That's the same name as the girl in the nether room we were talking about. Alice is kind of an urban legend around our school. The story goes that a long time ago, this girl committed suicide right here in this courtyard during spring break. She did it because she was being bullied at school, and the bullying would just start up again when break ended. So she killed herself and escaped into a world where spring break never ends. That's why you call her Spring Break Alice. And you said the daffodils aren't offering to her? That's the rumor. Nobody knows who put them there, but it's been happening for a long time. Spring Break Alice and daffodils. I wonder if this Alice, who helped us in the netherrealm, is the same girl who committed suicide so long ago. 
That voice sounded like it was in so much pain. Hey, your cell phone's going off, Myozan. Ah, it's a text from Baofu. Let's see. No way! What's the matter? He says that there's no website called Ambrosia. What's that supposed to mean? Baofu said that he checked the internet and St. Hermione's local network very, very carefully. But there's no profile-based social site called Ambrosia at all. Whoa, 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 then what the hell were those guys doing on their phones? Ah, yeah, there goes our plan. Yeah. I mean, it would be bad if we had to go back to 2 3 to investigate. I got a parasite thrown at us again. Hmm, I'm stumped. Hey, why don't we ask Rose? She looked like she knew some stuff. She wasn't even using her cell phone. Maybe she'll help us. How do you know she's not on the same side as Kariyazaki? If you put it that way, everyone's suspicious one way or another. Either way, what we need right now is information, right? That'll be important to figure out what to do next. It might not be a bad idea to ask Rose some questions, like Eikichi said. She seemed like she has some idea what was going on, and though I can't prove it, I don't think she's a bad girl either. Well, school's already over. I hope she's still around. All right, let's go look for her. Mm. Okay, I guess I can't check this stone out. Where, where is, uh... <sighs> Rose, I just forgot her name for a second. Here you are. Hey, what are you guys still doing here? Nay ho, hello. So you're in the boxing club, huh? I think we'll get along awesome. Ciao, Rose. We're continuing our investigation of Mr. Kayasaki and we're wondering if he could help us. Is there anything you could tell us about Ambrosia? Maybe everyone in class is using Ambrosia to do something bad. I warned you not to get involved. Mm-hmm. -hmm. We're involved, whether we want it or not. Karyazaki unleashed some parasite persona on us, telling us to join his class. Give me a break. A parasite persona? You once said that Mr. Karyazaki's class was being ruled by a deep sadness. Yeah, and stuff about giving her a complete death. What's up with that? I just want to do Akari. Akari? Who's Akari? She, well, she's the one everyone calls Alice. She killed herself. You know about Alice? Please tell us what's going on in that costume. Mm hmm. Herp. Please just go home. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is something that I have to deal with myself. If you're not going to leave, then I will. Rose runs away. What? Wait! Blech. The group chased after Rose. Oh, um. Shiyama-san, why? It turned into the nether realm. Why won't you join us? Mr. Kayazaki is the best teacher. The students are all great friends. It's a wonderful class to be in. 
She looks sad and self on her hand. <laughs> okay, that's just not right. Check out her eyes. How's this voice? Can't be heard. Why? Why can't she let me rest? That voice. It's Akari. Let's make two, three, four fun. We could do it if you guys join. Right? Guys? Oh no! Watch out! She disappeared. Ugh. Oh no, Aikichi got hit. It was too late. Hi, man. Is Aikichi inf infected with a parasite this time? What? What is this? A heavy grief like lead soaring around inside me. I can't. I can't stop crying. I'm so sad, full of hatred and fr frustration. I won't last much longer. I'm being pushed down by me. Dad! What? <laughs> Akari, hang on, Akari. Hurry, the parasite. Akari, don't worry. I'm not gonna let you suffer all by yourself. I'll suffer with you. Please, let's be in peace together. Alice's voice can no longer be heard. Wait, Akari! Akari! Rose, tell me! What's going on in that classroom? Does Akari have anything to do with it? I told you not to get involved! This is my mission! Mm-hmm-hmm! <laughs> Tell me! Uh, Alright, don't be so angry! Mm-hmm-hmm! <laughs> Akari's full name is Akari Torikiri. She was Musubu Torikiri's little sister. She's Miss Torikiri's sister? Then, the girl who committed suicide is... She was a kind person, so kind that she volunteered to look after the school pets. Most students hate, it, hate having to do that. But the stupid humans all picked on her. They even made fun of her after she died. But I killed Akari. I have to redeem myself. What? What do you mean you killed her? I want you to leave me alone now. I have to go do my duty. It's the only thing I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rose ran away. Wait! Sheesh. Rose is really a handful, man. Mm-hmm. You're all going, right? Let's go after her. Ikichi, are you okay? My emotions got all caught up in themselves, but other than that, I'm okay. I think I can keep my cool, and I can keep moving. Thanks! When we're done, I'll buy you all the ramen you want! Heh <laughs> you're gonna regret making that promise in a wall or something. Alright, off we go. And... I'm glad you're safe, Rose. Hey, Rose, would you come with us? I think you'll be a lot safer. I'm a good runner. I'll be okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. Can you give us some details about what you're talking about? What's going on in that classroom? They're using Akari's spirit. What do you mean, using? The energy of Akari's rage for when she committed suicide is being used to turn 2-3 into the ideal classroom. Ambrosia is Akari! The website is the ghost? That costume, everything in it is fake. Write down Dakari Zaki and the students. 
They use the power of Akari's spirit to change everyone's personalities and appearances. It's all an illusion. Mm-hmm. An illusion. So everyone in the class is using Ambrosia to talk to Akari's ghost? More or less. So that persona resonance we felt. It wasn't any actual persona users in the class. It was actually Akari's ghost. But Akari didn't do anything wrong. It was all, all... Rose. Who are you? I'm sorry. I really need to go. This is my duty. I don't want to drag anyone else into it. So... Sorry. Rose runs away. Rose. We have to go look for her again. with those lying on the ground. Rose is fighting a parasite persona in front of it. Look at heart! My heart's about to burst. I'm so sad, so filled with hatred and regret. Uh, okay. You stupid idiot! Dummy! Moron! How dare you hurt Akari! Mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is with these emotions? Damn it! Wait for me, Rose. I'm gonna save you. Hey, Kichi's really pushing himself. But that kind of spirit is awesome. Okay, let's beat this guy up. Let's go, everyone. Your death won't be quick. friends. The amazing Michelle has made a full recovery and is back in the spotlight. Thank you for your thunderous applause. Everyone, clap for Rikichi. I think I liked him better when he was possessed. <laughs> Alice's voice rings out. It seems he defeated the parasite persona. I opened the exit. Go leave before it closes. Akari, listen. I'm going to go to that costume to set things straight. <laughs> I'll get rid of the sadness that you're feeling. I'll give you a complete dust so you'll be able to rest in peace. I'm not gonna let you be hurt any longer. Mm -hmm -hmm. Hey! Rose disappears into the light. No, Rose, you can't. It's too dangerous. Please stop her. You have to stop Rose. Or else, I'll kill her. Alice, you're Akari Torikiri, aren't you? Are you the one hurting everyone 2-3? Why? My, my other half is putting everyone in pain. What do you mean your other half? My hatred towards the school. It should have been smaller. I should have been able to control it. I was going to hold it back so I could rest forever. 
but someone made it grow larger, and then it took on a life of its own. It grew? Yeah, it's here, the other half. It'll swallow me again. Hurry, can't keep the exit open much longer. This nether realm. It's a world of my grief. The parasite personas are fragments of my hatred that grew. Before, my other half of the stories rose and everyone else in that classroom. Hooray! Akari sounds like she's in a lot of pain. We have to get to 2-3 right away. Lights are all the party. Okay. I guess we're going to room 2-3 now. The lock on this door isn't broken. Let's go, Chinyan. We're going in. Rose! You guys! Parasaki and students are all assessed to their cell phones. Wake up, you guys! Ambrosia is in real last night! There's a terrible secret behind it! You're the ones who need to wake up. Ambrosia shows us the way to do anything we want. All you have to do is follow the directions on the screen, and you can be the person you always dreamed you could be. Even a monkey would understand how wonderful that is. This is. Oh, I can't look away! Sensei, they're just too stupid to get it. I mean, we, we already offered to let them join once, and they turned us down. What are you saying? As class president, I propose that we give them the death penalty. <laughs> Seconded. I'm sick of all these disruptions in our class. <laughs> Agreed. We don't need them bothering us anymore. Aya. Such beautiful teamwork. 2-3 is a wonderful group of students. Alright, I'm going to work extra hard for you. Akari, I know part of you is here. Please stop. Let's... Let's rest peacefully and forever. Rose? There is no answer for Akari's inner health. Alright, homeroom is over. You dirty rats of journalism. You and you and you and you and you. This time is your test now. You can start constantly writing our wills in those notebooks of yours. <laughs> okay. Now we're fighting Karisaki? Oh. Just this little demon. It's whoop ass time. <laughs> Yeah! My body, it's burning! <laughs> okay, um, what the? Everyone all at once? Pretty creepy. Hey, where did Karazaki go? Huh? What? My face, I duh! Karazaki looks like a completely different person. What? That dude's Karazaki? No, I can't be naked like this. Oh, uh, you're not naked. The other students are all different too. Oh. The students' appearances have changed. Drastically. Uh... uh Alright, everybody. I don't know what's going on, but Michelle and friends are here to save the day. Thank us. Man, he was useless. What a pain. What? The students began complaining about Kari's Zagi. 
You're worthless. Aren't you our teacher? You're supposed to protect us. We all made you into this wonderful, charismatic teacher and you wasted it. What a piece of garbage. Oh man. No! I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Uh, I guess we still have to fight them? I don't know what's going on. What? The other Kari isn't gone yet. She's still a parasite in his people's hearts. Mm-hmm. -hmm. A female teacher enters the classroom. What is all this noise? What are y'all what are you doing in here? Can we use her next? Hehehe. <laughs> uh... It's way past the end of class hours. If Mr. Kaizaki isn't here. You kids should What? Okay. I guess they're fighting her now. I just Oh new Kariyasaki. That teacher. They turned her into Kariyasaki? And everyone in class looks like the way they did before. Oh, they don't want to go back to their old selves. The male students turned into their ideal selves. The female students did too. Hmm, how far do we get in this lesson? I am Kariyasaki. This lesson on death appears to be over. You're the ideal teacher. We're counting you this time. Okay, whatever. I will do anything to protect my class. Hehehe. <laughs> Shinyan, Kariyasaki is attacking again. Never ending story. Your death will be quick. The female teacher and sis all return to her true selves. Hey, what? What? Son of a bitch! Teachers these days are useless. We have to do something about Kari's anger or else this will never end. Hey, is this really bad? Should we back out now? It doesn't seem like we all have any chance of winning. It doesn't seem like we have any chance of winning. It's okay. Oh. That voice. It's our best friend in the world, Akari. No, she's not your best friend. If we all work together, we can make our remake our ideal costume as many times as we need. My ideal costume. When is this ever gonna end? This resonance just now, it's like a million times worse than the parasite personas. Akari. Akari's voice comes from all the students' cell phones at once. When spring break ended, I would only be bullied again. That's why I killed myself, to escape this world of pain. Akari's voice echoes in the classroom. Akari. I escaped, but the pain never ended. I died because I thought I'd be free of it. But this horrible spring break never ends. This is so much worse than when I was alive. And since I can't escape, I created a place without pain. My ideal costume, my ideal teacher, and my ideal friends. There's no other escape but into my ideal life. Ugh, it's just really sad. My phone screen is going. Why too? Akari's coming to play with us. No, I don't think so. She's going to come out for the screen. Cell phone all the cell phones all flash brilliantly for an instant.
Oh, um, I am, I am, I am Torikiri, Akari Torikiri, or I was. <laughs> I blew my shores and consumed those who picked me. I am Persepone. Prissy Pony? Yeah. Prissy Pony, Madam of Hades. I will crush your skulls and feast on a pomegranate like flesh within. Akari! Okay. You're gonna beat up Prissy Pony now. Do you want my autograph? I don't think Prissy Pony will want your autograph, eh, <laughs> Rose rushes to Akari Torikiri's side. Akari, are you okay? Damn, what a sad demon. I don't even want to kill it. Huh? Was I asleep? I feel like I just woke up from a long, long dream. Huh? This classroom? Are we in school? What was I doing? I can't remember. My head hurts. Huh? Monster! Just a monster in here! I'm so sad, so angry, so surprised. Okay, this has been used many times. What is that thing? Oh my god, I'm freaking out! I, I'm class president, I have to bring order. No, I can't move! Well, it's a good thing that they're all free from Akari's power, but... What are you gonna do about this demon? Uh... Everyone, stop being afraid of Akari! Wow, I'm so sad. I wish I had friends who understood how I feel. I wish I had a teacher I could trust. Do we have to fight her again? Rose grabs Akari and hugs her. Akari's fighting really hard, even though half of her is being used as Ambrosio. The other half of her is fighting as hard as she can. Mm -hmm. Akari didn't want to be a ghost. She wanted to rest quietly. But everyone talks about dead people, saying she must have had a lot of anger or a crush is going to haunt the school now. But the only thing the dead want is peace. That woman disturbed her rest because of her own greed. She turned her own feelings into a parasite of Akari's spirit just to get her revenge. Huh? What woman? Akari's right side, howls in pain. Stop! Musubu! Musubi! Musubu! Sister, stop! Akari's left side, howls in rage. Heh heh heh. I won't let this be forgotten. Akari's two halves continue to fight each other. Stop! Stop offering me daffodils or else I'll never die. Akari, you hate everyone. You have to. <laughs> so Miss Torikiri is the one who grew Akari's hatred and used it to make 2-3 an ideal class? Yes. Subu made Akari into a ghost against her will and now she's in great pain. How awful! Rose, stay with Akari. We'll go take care of Miss Torikiri. Sister.
the party ran into the courtyard. I felt a persona resonance. There she is. She spied her daffodils. The resonance is kind of weak. <gasps> Akari's death war. Damn it. I can't let anyone get in the way. Usubu desperately begins pressing keys on her cell phone. Damn it! The persona! My parasite! I can't concentrate! Akari, she hated the school. I know it! She can't rest in peace! I can't trust the school and the damn police that they're stopping investigations. The world's forgetting my sister's deaths. How can I trust it? We have to stop Miss Torikiri! Lisa, wait! Inado approaches Misubu. Torikiri, are you still offering your daffodils? Today, you need to listen to what I have to say without running away. It's been 12 years. Over a decade has passed since she died. I've always been a kind person. I was your teacher once, so I should know. But you're obsessed with Akari. It's not good for your mind, body, or soul. You're losing your future and worshipping the past. Worst of all, I know that Akari will never rest as long as you grieve for her like this. Shut up, shut up, shut up! You're an outsider. What do you know about our pain? Musubu continues typing on her phone. Minato slaps the cell phone out of Musubu's hand. Of course, I don't understand. We're human beings. We can't understand anything unless we communicate. If we don't discuss things, we fall prey to assumptions and misunderstandings, and nobody agrees on anything. It's like sharpening a knife to hurt other people who have been in your heart all along. I know you're hurting, Torikiri. You've been hurting for a long time. Why didn't you talk to me about it? Why have you been fighting it all by yourself? Come on, let's talk. Stop pretending that you got it all together. You're my student. And no matter how much time passes, you'll always be my kohai. You should depend on me all you can. Cause me trouble. Give me your complaints, your anger, your frustration, even if you're blowing off steam. I'll take it all. That's what being a teacher is. Share your grief with me. You are not alone. Akari. 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 Why? Why didn't you talk to me about being bullied in school? If only you said something, I could have, I would have. Duh. Oh gosh. This is too sad. You are always too kind. That can be both good and bad. Hey, that stiff neck guy's pretty cool. Even if he did see our show. This story Kiri was pretty stupid. She has such a great teacher with her the whole time. Man, if only all teachers were like Minato. A bit later. He's a good teacher. Huh? Mr. Minato. Yes. And teachers are crazy awesome. He completely destroyed the main parasite persona just by talking. I... Akari's suicide is what made me want to become a teacher. I didn't want any more students to suffer like Akari did. I wanted to change the face of education in Japan. But reality is harsh. Nothing I did succeeded in changing anything. My ambitions turned to getting revenge. So you created Ambrosia? Yes. I put up a little social network in the school because I thought it would help me communicate with my students better. But all they did with it was make stupid jokes and complain and other negative things. Looking back, maybe they needed to do that at first in order to break the ice on using a new medium, but I couldn't accept it then. I lost hope in education and used the Kari spirit. I used her to escape from reality. That sure is a pretty doubtful though. Yeah, even if it isn't the right season for it. Daffodils are supposed to bloom in spring. She never saw the end of that spring, so I thought it would be nice. 
It's really dusty here. My eyes hurt. Sure, Ikichi. Nice try. I guess Musubu's bad persona's gone. Mm-hmm. Rose. Thanks, guys. Akari's okay now. The Akari created by Ambrosia is gone, and the real Akari is resting peacefully. You took away my mission, but it got done, so I don't care. Mm -hmm, mm hmm. Um. Who are you people talking to? Very funny, lady. It's Rose, a student here. She's. She's not here. Hey! She's gone! The spirit of a pig appears floating in the air. Everyone, thank you so much for saving Akari. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The pig speaks in Rose's voice. Like a good ghost pig. Wait, so you're Rose? I, uh. Yes, I was the class pet that Akari spent so much effort to care for. I was worried about her, so I came out to wander around too. Mm hmm. I'm already dead. Oh. Mm hmm. You said before that you killed Akari. What did you mean? Look, just remembering that me. Just remembering that makes me angry with myself. I'm the one who made Akari commit suicide. Mm hmm. Huh? The day before she did it. Akari came to me and pet my tummy, like she always did. She seemed really sad, and she was talking to me about something. But I didn't let her pet me! I mean, it was time for my meal! And when I didn't let her pet me, she let my pen, looking even sadder than when she came in. And then she... she... If only I let her pet me! Aw, pig, don't blame yourself, piggy. If only I'd understood any of what she was talking about, he didn't even understand her, man. Squeak! Squeak! <laughs> That's why I made it my mission to save Akari. Wow. This... this... this is the best pig ever. <laughs> oh, so he wanted to save her bacon. How dare you! <laughs> <laughs> You're really kind for a pig. Yes. Yeah, Best pig ever. <laughs> huh? Really? I hear that a lot over on the other side. Hehe. <laughs> Don't worry. Akari's tragedy wasn't your fault. It's just a little precious pig. Really? I can believe you? Squee! <laughs> <laughs> She's as happy as a pig and... Well, uh, don't get all worked up over it. Wait, were you a girl pig or a boy pig? I'm 100% poor! Then, why'd you turn yourself into a girl and call yourself Rose? Um, squee hee hee! That's what a car you looked like! Hee hee! I like her so much! Okay, um, what? what? That's what a car you looked like? Wow, she was hot! Wish I met her when she was still alive! Hey, Kichi! Well done, everyone. Akari's calling me, so I have to go back. Mm -hmm -hmm. Go back where? Back to where all the dead go. Oh, duh. Well, take care. Though that's kind of a weird thing to say, too. Thank you, everyone. I'm out to cuddle with Akari. Mm -hmm -hmm. Bye, piggy. Good job in the interview, everybody! And there's no one in this restaurant! <laughs> nice work! Yeah, I'm gonna eat so much! Just assistance my ass! You treated us like slaves! Oh, <laughs> well, it's all thanks to you guys that Akari was able to end her spring break, so don't worry about it. Still, it ended so suddenly. If, if only Miss Torikiri had talked to Mr. Minato at the beginning, this wouldn't have happened. 
Well, people with a lot of problems stop being able to see everything around them. They don't realize that their actions only make things worse for them, and they sink lower and lower until they can't get out. I mean, huge crimes like you see on TV are often caused by something that's pretty dumb. By the way, Maya-san, what are you gonna do about your charismatic teacher article? I mean, Sakaria Saki didn't really exist, so you can't write about him. This Sakaria Saki was a fake, but we did see a real charismatic teacher. Gah? A teacher who was able to change the life of a student who's, who'd already graduated with the power of his dedication. Oh. Well, I'm fine today. Eat positive, guys. Yes, I've been waiting for this. Waitress, I like a pork belly rabbit. Oh my god, pork belly! I wonder if Rose made it back to the other world. Hoshona. Ah, never mind. Waitress! Uh, I want to play noodle soup instead. Did you get that? Title. Thoughts on the educational field. It seems that at some point in your life, life suddenly expects you to be and act like an adult. You may think of this as misfortune. However, you need not carry this burden by yourself. That's because... Because you could depend on adults. They made the transition to adulthood before you did, and they know how to deal with tragedy. So, if your life is touched by tragedy, you can speak to an adult about it. Adults always want to help you if they can. They're trying to pay back the next generation for the same thing that was done for them back when they were children themselves. Interview and article by Maya Amano and Trusted Assistance. And done! Time to celebrate! Where's my bottle opener? <laughs> And that is it. Thank you so much for watching the theater mode part two. And I'll see you guys next time.